Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Don Cass, Bill here again. And it's time for race 33 out of 36, the Georgia 500. So, we're going to Atlanta Motor Speedway with, hopefully, a decent shot and a decent finish. So, we survived, what, 33 laps at Martinsville. Oh, boy. It was rough. And our sponsorship uh, situation has not improved, and I feel like Kroger is going to be pulling the plug really quick. Uh, we're going to have two more races with them. Uh, garage. So we have two more races for our chassis. Uh, we do have our Daytona 500 engine is already built and ready to go. We do have our Speedway engine, which is ready to go, and we are going to be running that Speedway engine. So, let's prepare the car for Atlanta. I want to actually have a decent finish, folks. I actually want to try this. We're going to go with the 66 power, and we're going to see how good this is. Let's test our equipment and see where this gets us. Let's get our land. We're live from the Atlanta Motor Speedway in Hampton, Georgia. For All right, folks. So, well, uh, we qualified dead last. And, yeah. Kind of love when you bring a 66 power engine and you can't even qualify for a second. Oh, boy. restricted plates for this track, which is why it's actually one of the fastest tracks in the Winston Cup Series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive into the corners. With over 25 seasons under his belt, Ricky Rudd is NASCAR's most experienced full-time driver. It's hard to believe, but he got his first NASCAR Winston Cup start in 1975 at the age of 18. Since then, he's been in the top 10 in points more often than not, and is still at the top of his game. The 02 car has been struggling at the speedways this season. Yeah, I really feel bad for those guys this season. They come to these tracks and work so hard, but they just never seem to get the car just right. The 82 car hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their names there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Engines are fired. It's Jeff Gordon and Dale Jr. on the front row here in the Georgia Fire. So we bring a 66 power engine and we can't even get 40 second. Yeah, I just don't understand this game sometimes. Uh, should I, I probably shouldn't even ran this engine to be honest. I probably should have just left it at home and not even ran it, but we're just trying to get better and let's just hope we can just, just finish the race. To see how this race plays out and just hope for the best. That's all we can do is hope for the best. And of course, Jack Sprague is very angry about Martinsville. Of course, we destroyed his race car. Not intentionally. We were trying to move him out of our way and it just blew his wheel side. So that's lovely. And he's trying to wreck us right now. Huh. What in the world just happened up here? Oh my goodness. What in the world just happened? By the grace of God, I don't even know what happened there. I can't even hold the car down the corner. It's so bad. I just seen everybody on the straightaway just choke up. I'm guessing someone got on the wall and got really loose. I didn't see any smoke, so I don't think it was an engine failure. Nonetheless, though, that actually helped us tremendously, but the race car is just being a typical race car. It's just being a piece of trash. So... We missed out on the qualifying bonus, but we don't get the $60,000. We need to finish 35th or better, and that's not going to happen either. And then our other expectation is rank 40th in earnings, which we can't even get. So we're looking at absolutely nothing. Actually, it might have been an engine failure because Ryan Newman is off the pace, and he qualified, I think, third or fourth. But nonetheless, though, it is going to be a very long race as we can't even hold our car down in the corner. We're letting off the gas in the exit. And Ricky Rudd is right behind us, looking to pounce and get around us as well. And here's the one car who's extremely furiated with us. I'm turning the analog all the way to the left. And we can't even hold the car 
I mean, on the wall, bro, it's just, it's just so bad, man. It's so bad how we bring a 66 power engine and we can't even keep the car straight. We can't even get a 40 second position in fail sign. We can't get nothing. We just absolutely cannot get anything in this race car. We're going to finish dead last with a 66 power engine, folks. Because these guys are just going to go right by. Look at this. They're just going to go right by. Look at that. One. Oh, look at, oh, look at that. Jack Sprague. Just literally just kamikaze our race car. That's great. That's great. And you know what? I'm gonna stay out. Hope I catch a debris caution. Wow. That's uh that's pathetic. That's really pathetic of Jack Spray. But it is what it is. Darn it that piece flew off. I'll just hope the hood flies off and we get another caution. Wow. Well, I'm just going to stay out and just going to lock some laps around the racetrack, I guess. On the bright side, though. Uh, wait, no, it's still bright side. I thought Jack Spray DNF. No, he's behind the 57. <laughs> Rut row in our t tail end is wide open. And there is our fuel cell. So, he's going to destroy our race car tonight. Okay. What a And look at that. Our car is absolutely garbage. And it can't do anything. Woohoo. Woohoo, guys. Woohoo. Oh, look at that. Jack Sprague's being a complete piece of trash. Nice. Can't wait till that guy retires. Well, so it's 42nd place for us. Ryan Newman uh, had an early DNF. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be an extremely long race. I'm just hoping a hood or something flies off and saying get a caution and go back on pit road. I don't even know what to fix in this race car, to tell you the truth. I don't even know. The car is loose. It's tight. It can't even... Look at this. I don't. I just don't even care anymore at this point. I'm so tired of bringing good equipment to a racetrack, and we can't even get a finish. I am just... It's just so stupid. How you bring a 66-power engine, and it can't even get you 40 seconds. I just don't understand the logic sometimes. And I've been thinking, oh, it's because you're driving. The, the speed alone should be enough to get it there. Unless you just get through the corner without hitting the wall. Oh uh, yes, repair the damage. Um, we're gonna tighten this race car as much as we can, and just hope for the best because this thing's a piece of junk. Oh goodness! I cannot wait for the Daytona 500 because I need something that's going to actually handle halfway decent and have a chance of winning because if we win the Daytona 500, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to use that money very wisely. I just want to be competitive, you know? I just want to be able to finish top 30 each week. That's what I want. I can't even get that because it's just... When you add in the repair costs and you add in the, the equipment, I mean, you just can't do that. We just can't do anything. I mean, we were just sitting there. We didn't have our finger on the throttle. But, um, you just can't even do anything. It's just, it, it's, it's a struggle in this game. You know, you really gotta work for it. And I like that. I, I want a challenge. I don't want it to be like NASCAR V3 where, oh, it's just, you go to one track and you win every time. And you go to another track and you get lapped. You know, I want to actually have to work to make my team good. NASCAR V3 is just too easy. We'll just keep hacking at it, and hopefully we can get somewhere. At least we pitted when we did, and we didn't, you know, wait until we were like four laps down or something stupid. The car is ridiculously tight. But we kind of had to, as you can clearly see how bad our car was. We did not really have a choice but to tighten it up. Right in the corner, I can't, I have no speed off, I have nothing. This car is so bad. I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I just don't even know anymore, guys. I don't even know anymore. Everything else is just, just literally running running around the track wishing I had a better race car. So I guess we'll do that and we're just going to jack up the pressure and just see what it does at this point. I don't even know. This car is just so bad. It's... 
It's hard to describe how bad this race car is. I can't even get anything, anything with this just the speed, the handling, nothing is there. Nothing at all is there. And let's see how slow our pit crew is. Hopefully we'll have a better car next year, you know? Hopefully. I just want to be competitive, you know? That's all I want. I just want to go out there and just have a few good runs here and there. I don't want to just sit here and just finish 40th every race. It gets old really quick. Especially when you put all that money into an engine and you just can't even get a, a good finish out of it. So I'm probably going to even use it at uh, Homestead. I'm just going to just look for Daytona. Oh my god, this car is so bad. I apologize for the lack of action in this series so far. I hope y'all bear with me as we try to grow this race team because this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to have chassis like badly. I need good chassis. That's the issue is the stupid chassis. If I had a good, uh, good, good tire grip, something, I could land the car on the corner and actually make it. It's just the car handles so bad. I, I can't even, it, it, it basically just, you know, throws away the power, essentially. It doesn't matter how what power you have if you can't get around the racetrack half decent. That's literally what I'm dealing with at this point. And then the, the, the car body doesn't help at all. Now we have no downforce. We don't have no downforce. We have no drafting. I mean, look at the tire group. That would not happen if we had a better chassis. So that's what we're going to be focusing on for 2004. So we got to just, we got to figure this out now. You know, we got to get these parts. We got to get this stuff. And we lost our funding that we had in the middle of the early portion of the season. We lost that funding. You know, we had some pretty good, you know, runs going. We were making money for the race team, and then it just all fell apart. And now we're just logging laps at this point. It, it is a grind. This game is a legit grind. But it's so worth it once you get there. You know, I've never won a championship in any of these career modes, 03 or 04 or 02. I've never won the career mode championship, and I want to win it. You know, I've seen all the YouTubers do it. I want to do it, but it is definitely a goal. White flag in there here in the Land Motor Speedway. Oh my goodness! I'm so glad this race is over. I just, I. I just don't know what happened in the race team. The cars are not as fast as they were. We're not finishing where we need to. I, I, I don't know what happened. Like, I really don't. And I, I'm, I don't think it's me. I don't think it's that I'm just racing bad. I just feel like they're getting faster. Or well, the racetracks are just not our racetracks. Which doesn't make sense because we went to Atlanta earlier this year and we got a top 30. The car is just not handling Nowhere near where it needs to be. So we're going to come home away 42nd. Kroger's probably going to leave. Oh my goodness. I am so ready to get new sponsors. But something that we can actually start getting funding on the car. This car is garbage. And finally that race comes to an end. Who wins? It's Dale Jr. He wins the Georgia 500. And Jeff Gordon is going to finish second, Mark Martin third, Stewart and Harvick round your top five. Well, our rivals went down a little bit. That's good, I guess. We didn't make any new rivals, I don't believe. And we made, whoa, $25,000 for the team. Woohoo! A whopping 25 k which is absolutely not going to get us anything. Anything at all. Nothing. Zip. Nada. So, that concludes this nightmare of a race. Um... We're not making anything on the race team in terms of funding. We can't even get a top 40 first uh, for finish. So, oh, it is absolutely uh, terrible. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get some better equipment soon, and we'll be able to do something. See, Gordon and Junior led 15, 16 laps, and then Tony Stewart led one lap. So, I mean, they were pretty much Junior started second, finishes first. Gordon's started uh, first and finished second, so they were literally just 
they were the same, you know, drivers pretty much today. They were the same car every day. Uh, who, let's see, uh, Newman was the only guy we finished ahead of. That is, ugh, that's just terrible, man. Finishing behind Mike Skinner and Kyle Petty is an all-time low. So anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like below. If you want to see more content, please subscribe to Diecast Buffet. And anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great one at Diecast Buffet. Signing off.